Today we're in beautiful Cobble Hill at Broad Maple Acres Farm visiting goats and there's 27 goats and we're celebrating 4-H today. This is Mr. Chu and he is a year old and he is my pack goat and uh, he's not a lap dog <laughs> and he he's liking this up here. <laughs> Drop it. I build little structures so that, that he can climb on them and I Put it, always have his pack on him so he gets used to it, having something on his back. This is Sweet Pea, and she's a Madari goat project. I started 4-H when I was 11, and I, when I came, it was like a year after I came to Canada. We've noticed that the 4-H program will bring them out of their shell. It also gives them a larger family circle. Um, they meet lots of friends, and they become very close. I like traveling to places, meeting other 4-H members and talking and then having shows and fairs. Uh, public speaking has been a huge one, the communications aspect to 4-H. I have c confident speakers now. They can talk to adults, they can talk to peers, and they can talk in front of a big crowd. Uh, there's another boy, he has a pack goat, and we were trying to start a business yep. where we could have pack goats, but it, we're not old enough. Well, well not so old enough, but um, you have to take all these courses to actually start a tourism business in BC. Yeah. Well, that would be an opportunity too through 4-H if uh, you wish to do some advocacy work yeah. to see if there's some opportunities there. Yeah. You know, because you never want to come forward just as, as one guy with one good idea. If you can come forward as a group yeah. and say, you know what, maybe either the province or the federal government could or should consider uh, changing the regulations. Yeah, that actually might be a good idea. Um, with him, <laughs> I've learned to uh, be patient and just keep persevering and teaching them because you won't learn if you don't just keep trying and trying. It helps them to become better citizens, leadership. It teaches them personal development um, in ways of being responsible for animals and projects within agriculture. But I think it's really, really good aspect for uh, young teens to get to do because it helps them expand more than just sitting around. It gets us out there and putting our talents to use that and finding something that we might like. We were very pleased to be able to give $85,000 to 4-H in British Columbia. And you can see, we have evidence that the goats are very appreciative. They've signed or at least eaten both corners of this letter of the announcement. And I'm very pleased to say that I know 4-H is going to do a fantastic job with this dollars, but also too with all the volunteers they have in their organization. We are so fortunate they are working with passion with the youth of today to make sure that 4-H is strong and vibrant and sharing agriculture and agricultural practice with all of British Columbians.